with chat gpt you can automate your test case writing historically it takes a couple of days weeks even sometimes months to create your test cases but using chat gpt in a blink of eyes within few seconds you can create an extensive list of test cases doesn't matter if you have a domain knowledge or not doesn't matter if you have an application knowledge or not but using the chat gpt you can create a wide variety of test cases in a blink of eyes how we do that let's see in today's video so here is a link for chat gpt uh, you put that link on the web browser and then you can log in so i have already logged in here so if you go in the chat gpt there are options to log in through google account or your microsoft account or apple account i did with my google account once you do that this is your home screen you see two options here one is chat gpt 3.5 one is chat gpt 4 4 is a licensed version which you have to buy 3.5 is a free version for this video i am using 3.5 now, if you look at this section, this is called a message, send a message. So you have to put a message to chat GPT. It works like a human interaction. The way you talk to your friend, your colleague, uh, like a human, you pass on, you ask a question, you get a response, you again refine your question, ask for more information. Chat GPT works in a similar way and that's why we call it natural language processing. So you have to ask a question, you have to refine your question, and that is what we call prompt. So prompt is a is a buzzword nowadays. Everybody's trying to learn the prompt. So whatever we put as a message here is called prompt. For this video, I have already put a prompt here. Let me copy this prompt. Before this, let me cover this prompt quickly. So it says, I want to write a VBA code. I want to create an Excel sheet with test cases. And what I want to test is ATM machine. For this video, I have taken an example of ATM machine. And I'm saying that you add all possible test cases to test ATM machine in Excel sheet. Add a header in Excel and the keep the header name as test case ID, test case description, priority, test step, ALM path, so and so and so. You can continue this list, you can extend this list, you can optimize this list. And then I'm saying add a dark blue color and a white text font for header cells. So look at the power of chat GPT. You're not only saying that right data test cases, you're also saying that how my header should be. What should be the uh, name of my header? What should be the color of background color? What should be the font color? Everything you can give a direction to chat GPT and it will bring you back everything. So let me copy this and let me see the magic of chat GPT. Let me copy it here. Go to chat GPT, put it here and do a send message button. Now chat GPT will start creating code for you. See how quickly it is creating code. It says add a header. You, if you even you don't need to be technical, you just look at the code. It says header. I'm creating a header. Then it says uh, test cases. Say test case zero zero one. It says add more test cases as needed, and that's it. Now chat GPT to use it, you don't need to be a technical person. Now what it says, read it this. It says to create an Excel with test cases for testing ATM machine using VBA, you can follow these steps. It is telling you that what to do, right? And if you come down here, it says, if you want to run this code, you open the Excel sheet and then press Alt F11. And that's how you can run this code. Now let me copy this code from here and then I can run it here. But before I run it, if you see here, it has added only one test cases, right? But that's not gonna help you. What I need is uh, more test cases, extensive list of test cases. And that's how the chat GPT, you look at the beauty of chat GPT. It gives you something that you can refine that. How we do that? Let's put another prompt here. It's a follow up prompt. The way you talk to your friend, you ask some question, you get some answer. You're not satisfied. You ask another question, right? Extension to the previous question. So let me just copy it here. So I'm saying a neat extensive list of test cases. Please extend the test case list further and regenerate the VBA code. Let me go here and put this message again and let's see what it brings back to us. It says creating extensive list of test cases can be quite extensive. So it's an extensive list of test cases along with updated VBA code. Now let me see how many test cases it is generating. It says test case 001, then test case 002, then test case so 003, then 004. Okay, so it created only three test cases. It says add more test cases as needed, right? Let me say one more time. Above test case list is not covering maximum test cases. Please extend the test case list further and regenerate VBA code. 
so i am that's how you you work with chat gpt you ask something it gives you some output you validate that output if it works for you that's okay if it doesn't work for you then further refine your prompt let's see so earlier it first it gave me one test case then it gave me three test case let's see this time so test case user one, which is insert card and enter pin. Test case user two, valid amount. Test case user three, insufficient balance. Test case user four, check balance. Test case user five. See, it created one test case, three test cases. Now it is getting five test cases, right? Now you can again ask, and it will create you know more test cases for you. Now look at another beauty of it. If you see here, it says insert card slash n, and if you know the programming, the slash n is a a new line character right if you copy paste in the excel sheet it will come like a slash n so what you want to tell chat gpt is do not give me a slash n right so i'm just saying in the output list step printed slash n instead of entering text into new line please fix it so what i'm saying is i don't need the slash n you regenerate the code let's see And I'm taking all these examples so that you also understand how to play with ChatGPT. In a very first attempt, it might not give you the right result, but you keep on refining your prompt. If you are getting expertise on your prompt, you will definitely get a, a better output every time. And that's what the ChatGPT is all about. It has a lot of power. The only thing is, are we able to use it or not? Now, you don't see slash and now you see VBLF. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just say copy code. Now you open the Excel sheet the way it has instructed initially and say press Alt F11. It brings you this. Go here, same module, and just copy paste your code here. That's it. Now you just need to run it. Click over here, run it, and you see the test cases. Let me do a wrap text here. So look at the beauty. It has header to it. It has header as a background color. You have changed the font. It brought you the column what you need in a test case. Even if you don't know how to write test cases, right? You don't know what are the possible uh, columns there could be. You can ask ChatGPT it will give you. So it tells me the test case ID, a description, uh, the steps, expected result, actual result, you have to put it when you actually uh, executing the test cases, created by, created on. Similarly, you can add, you know, uh, more field also. Now, imagine that you are working on an organization and you are feeding the, the contextual information to chat GPT. And then you want to write a test scenario. You want to, you want to write the test cases. You want to write the application code. How much efficiency chat GPT can bring you back to you? That's the power of ChatGPT, which we have not explored yet. It works on the data. You keep on feeding the data, and it gives you a desired output. The only thing you need to learn is what to put as the right prompt, and does it has enough information to it to give you or not. This is just one use case. Similarly, there's a wide variety of use cases which you can work with ChatGPT. I'm sure today's video has given you a different dimension, all to a different perspective and how you use a chat GPT. Coming days, I'm going to put more videos on chat GPT. What are the wide possibilities that chat GPT is going to bring back to us and how it can bring a uh, hundred times, thousand times efficiency the way we do our things today. Till then, happy learning. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Thank you.